Hi everyone, I'm Connor. I'm Scott. Today we'll be showing you guys uh, how this iRobot Roomba E5. <laughs> wow. <laughs> anyway, so um, we used to have a cleaning lady. Her name was Yuffie, and she died. So we decided to buy a new cleaning lady. And Yuffie was very nice. We had her for like two years. Yeah, two and a half years. Worked two, well. Yeah, two and a half years. So Yuffie was, would be able to clean the floors. Yuffie was awesome. But then finally she died. So we decided to try this, like Scott said, the iRobot E5. And this one name is Roomba. The last one we had was Yuffie. So this is Roomba. So Scott is going to open the box and then we're going to try it and see whether it works as well as Yuffie. You ready? Cool. Open? Yeah. Okay. So then let Scott do his thing with this and then we'll kind of put it on the floor and see whether it will clean as, uh, as well as uh, uh, Yuffie did. Yuffie was very nice. We love Yuffie. So let's go ahead and open it and uh, see what happens. Nice. Uh, not bad. That's nice. Looks nice. Looks sharp. Got some wheels and stuff down at the bottom. All right. Yeah, Yuffie had two of these little spinny things. It just has one. Um, but yeah, it looks nice. Looks pretty simple. Let's see what else we got? That thing. Must be where it goes to charge. Yeah, we've got the little charger things. Uh, power cord. And instruction manual. All right, so that's what's in the box. So as you can see, there's not a lot of parts to this. So we have the charger cord. We plug this in and this, this is like a deck and Yuffie used to just, uh, after she cleans, she would just go back wherever you have this plugged. Uh, our old, old cleaning lady would just, uh, Yuffie would just go back on there to charge herself. So you don't really have to take her there. She would just kind of figure that she's dying and then she would go back uh, on the deck. Yep, so uh, just sticking this in here. So we're gonna take it over and suck it off. See how they're kind of saying. So here's the little charger, here's the little charger spot. So yeah, like these two, these are the little charger spot that sits right there. So I, I think we need to go get, get it charged. All right, let's go get it charged and then we'll see, then we'll put her down and see whether she can uh, clean. All right, here we are, this is where we're gonna put it. Um, we're trying to put it in an out of way spot so that way we aren't uh, stepping on our new robot vacuum cleaner. So I looked at the directions, but it looks pretty simple. I'm just going to plug it in. Yeah, a little green light right here just came on. So that's good. I'll probably get that little twisty thing and pull that cord out of the way. So right. what we got is Put it like that. And we start the one. Ah, nice See little that? Cool. It says working. All right. So we got another little, uh, I don't know, orange light battery. Let me get the camera a little close. Flash. So there's a little light here. Uh, once we plugged it, and I think it was uh, just lined up correctly. So it beeped a little, and then this little light came on. So we'll let it charge, and then uh, we'll start it up and see how it does. So that is our Roomba. And give you a closer look. So right now we're just charging it and then we're gonna come back to you once it's charged and then we'll try to see how it works. If it works as well as our UFI. All right, so with the iRobot E5, um, Roomba E5, it uh, comes with an app, so I went out to the Apple iStore and downloaded this app. So I uh, just downloaded it, and then it took me through a setup process. So I had to register. It was kind of the typical registration where 
you put in your name and email and then they send you a six digit code. I did that already. I also, um, it had it hook up to the Wi-Fi, um, so it kind of went walked through a setup process. So the machine hooked up to Wi-Fi. Obviously, my phone is already hooked up to Wi-Fi, so now it's kind of synced up with our specific robot. And so now I've got the app, and I can, I'm sure, do things here. Like, it already has something for me right there where I can press that that says vacuum every, everywhere. I'm assuming if I hit that button, it'll start going. I'm not gonna do that yet because it's not charged yet. Um, the nice thing too is it also shows uh, that it's charging and then you can see it looks like only maybe like 20% charged or something like that. And so that's kind of nice. So we can see, all right, when is it fully charged? Uh, and then new jobs, I'm assuming I can use that to like put it on a schedule. Like we'll probably want it cleaning every day at nine in the morning or something like that. And so I'm assuming I can uh, schedule a new job and do that. We'll, we'll check that out, that out in a little bit. Um, it's kind of nice, the uh, Eufy that we used to have had a remote and that was cool, but we always had to find the remote and you know hit the right button. Uh, I think the app will probably work, you know, hopefully even better than uh, the remote did for Eufy. So looking forward to checking out, see how this works uh, on the app. Everybody, we are back again. Um, we charged the Roomba and we have used it for a couple of weeks and we wanted to come back to give you guys our honest opinion on this and we want to compare this with our Yuffie. Like I said earlier, we have had that Yuffie for like uh, two years. Yeah, probably two and a half. Yeah, two and a half years. So our Yuffie died. So that's why we decided to buy the Roomba. So we just want to kind of give you guys an honest opinion after using it for two weeks. And also, hey, is it worth it? You know, is it worth it to get a robot vacuum cleaner? Yeah. So let's get into it. I'm going to ask Scott some questions because he's the one that's been using it a lot um, because he works from home. So he uses it. So he knows exactly um, what's, you know, what's the difference between this and the UV. So after using it for a couple of weeks, uh, Scott, what do you think about it? Do you think it's worth it? buying a robot vacuum um you know good question so one thing to know about us is we've got four kids yeah and us and so there's six of us in a house and the floors get dirty every single day i mean very quickly um and so this doesn't necessarily take the place of probably sweeping with a broom every once in a while but uh, I think what it does a really good job of is if you run it like on a daily basis or every other day, it keeps it pretty clean. Um, and we found that with Eufy and it's the same with the Roomba. Um, both of them, if you run it almost every day or every other day, um, it kind of 
sweeps around. It doesn't necessarily sweep in the same like logical way. It kind of like goes all over the place. But as long, and, and so in any one time you run it, it's not gonna get everything, all right? Maybe it gets like 70% of the stuff you got on the floor every time you run it, but then you run it the next day, it gets another 70%. And so as long as you run it day after day, it keeps your floors pretty clean. Um, when you have company come over, because we've got six people, you still might sweep up a little bit and make sure you get all the other stuff that it hasn't gotten. Yeah. Um, but uh, I really like it. I think it's a, a great thing for a family of six. They are kind of expensive. Um, I think this one was, what, $350? Yeah. We might have to check that. Yeah, we might have to check that, but, and then um, the... The UFI, the I think, was around $200. Yeah, 200 so... Um, and we probably ought to check that as well. But, um, they're somewhat expensive, but we don't like sweeping our floors. Um, and if, if it was just up to us, we probably would sweep our floors once every couple weeks or something like that, and then... Our floors are getting really dirty at, even after a few days so this really helps on a day-to-day -day basis just to keep things kind of nice yeah again like scott said we have four kids and these kids are a little messy sometimes you know they eat chips and it falls all over the floor and nobody picks it up um, so with this i mean roomba or yuffie they used to pick up all the little pieces that we didn't have the time to sweep up very quickly so like he said we had it like on when we had the Yuffie, we had it on a timer. I think it used to go, it used to kind of sweep like every nine o'clock in the morning. It would kind of leave the dock and just sweeps. And so most of the time the house was pretty clean. I mean, it didn't look too bad at all. So when I come home, it looks very nice because Yuffie had been cleaning. So, so like he's saying, this is worth getting if you have four kids or five kids, or I mean, you can even have two kids and still be able to use this. I mean, it is amazing. Yeah. Um, one of the things I'd say is there's a higher end to all these things. You know, you can buy these for like $600, $600 or even $1,000. For me, it's not worth that much money. Yeah. Um, this is a pretty good buy. I think, like I said, $350. Um, that to me is worth it. I, I wouldn't spend $600 or $1,000. You know, they've got really advanced ones that suck the dirt out of this so you don't have to empty it. And we just go ahead and we bought this one. We empty it. No big deal. And uh, that feels like about the right price for the value we're getting out of it. Yeah. So like you're saying, hey, you can go get the Mad Daddy one. They do have some very expensive ones. So, but this one works just fine. So, All right. So we know that uh, this Roomba is bigger than the, the Yuffie. The Yuffie was a lot smaller, but this is bigger. So how do you think this sweep compares to uh, Yuffie? Um, I think they sweep about the same, you know, both of them sweep pretty well. Uh, like I said, they, they kind of have a pattern that they, and it's not even really a pattern. They kind of almost randomly sweep areas of your house. Um, we've got what, probably four or five different rooms on our first floor. You know, we've got the kitchen and family room and the little dining area and, uh, that's a, a bathroom. And so it'll go all over the place. Um, and like I said, it'll sweep probably 70% of it. Um, and, and both of them, they suck up the dirt. They, you know, if, if it goes over the dirt, it'll suck it up. And so uh, they, they both did probably, I think, equally as well as far as being able to suck up the dirt. That's good. Yeah, because I noticed that this has like, uh, I don't know what you call this, a sweeper. It, this has just one. And then uh, Yuffie used to have two. Yeah, this thing right here. Um, yeah, that's true. Uh, and you know what? I, I, I've never really seen all that much advantage to having one or two or even really they don't seem to do much. The big thing is this thing right here, the thing that sucks it up. And both of them do pretty good at sucking up the dirt. You know, if it runs over it, it sucks it up. So I guess on that aspect of it, they both kind of sweep very well. But also to like, what would you say about this compared to Yuffie when it comes to the, the loudness? Is it a less loud than the Yuffie or Yuffie is louder than this one? Uh, this one's a lot louder, and so um, that's the one thing that I, I kind of struggle with the Roomba is I work from home, I'm on conference calls all the time, and to run the Roomba while I'm on a conference call, it's too loud. And, and what I'll say is it's too loud on uh, the bare floors. On the carpet, um, and by the way, they both do well sweeping on carpet and bare floors, but the Roomba um, on carpet, it sounds pretty good you know it's not all that loud but when it's on the bare floor 
it's pretty loud. It's much louder than Eufy, I, I would say. And the Eufy, uh, we could run, um, and I'd be on a conference call, and while it would, would create noise, definitely, the Roomba feels a lot louder than Eufy. And that's probably my biggest issue with the Roomba, is it's, it's loud enough where if I'm on a call, I, I need to either put it in a different room far away, or um, I'll just go ahead and turn it off until I'm done with the call. Um, so with this being bigger, uh, does it charge longer? It's about the same. What I would say is the battery for the Roomba lasts longer, um, or at least it sweeps longer. So I think Eufy probably lasts about 45 minutes or so. Uh, the Roomba will go over an hour, so it'll sweep the floor for probably an hour and 15 minutes. And the Eufy would sweep the floor for about 45 minutes. Um, when they run out of battery power, both of them, We'll go back to the charging station, so you don't have to worry about putting them back in the charging station. They'll find their way back to the charging station, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Now, what you do have to do, you still have to empty out the dirt after it's there, because uh, like I said, we've got four kids and us, and so after one run, or definitely after two runs, there's enough dirt in the, uh, the trash bin or whatever that you need to empty it out. So it's nice that it goes back to the charging station, but even so, I then, you know, usually pick it up and dump the dirt out and then put it back on the charging station. So do you think uh, Yuffie or Roomba gets stuck? Because when we had uh, Yuffie, Yuffie would get stuck like under the couch uh, a lot. I mean, or get stuck, I mean, mostly was under the couch. Yeah. Um, so do you think uh, Roomba gets stuck too, or maybe less often than Roomba did, or than Yuffie did? Um, so Yuffie got stuck all the time under our couch, you know, we've got a couch with a little flap on the back and so it'd go under the flap and get stuck underneath the couch and it was frustrating. You'd pull it out and then like 30 seconds later, it might be right back under the couch. You got to pull it out <laughs> again. So it was kind of annoying. Roomba does that as well, but it doesn't seem to do nearly as much. I don't know if it's because it's a little bit bigger and as a result, it doesn't get stuck or maybe it has better sensors. I'm not sure what the deal is, but it doesn't get stuck quite as often. It does get stuck. It does go under the couch. It does go under our kind of reclining chair, um, but not nearly as often. You know, sometimes you feel it would drive me nuts because I've got to pull it out underneath from underneath the couch like three times in one sweeping session. Uh, Roomba doesn't seem to do that as much. And the good thing about them, uh, if they do get stuck, they do beep so they can let you know I'm stuck. And then wherever you are, you probably hear them and then you have to move them out. Um, again, like Scott saying, it used to be frustrating because I saw you pull Yuffie out, she will find her way right back to you know, where she was sweeping because she still remember that's where she was trying to sweep. So, so that's the only you know difference uh, between uh, Yuffie and uh, Roomba when it comes to getting stuck. Like Scott said, also too because this is bigger, so I think sometimes it doesn't go over the hump, you know, and it doesn't get stuck as often as Yuffie did because Yuffie was smaller, so she gets in there and then she just stays there for a while. How do you start this? Because I know that when we had the, the uh, Yuffie, we used to use a remote. Yep. Do, does this have a remote too that we can use? Or? So the nice thing about Roomba, and you know, uh, I like this a little bit better about the Roomba than the Yuffie, although Yuffie might, the newer, newer versions of Yuffie might have this, which is you've got an app that you download on your phone uh, for the Roomba. Uh, Yuffie had a remote and uh, the remote was okay, but sometimes I'm looking for the remote and you know, you got to track down the remote and then you got to remember which button does what thing on the remote and I could never remember it. Um, the app is nice. I've always got my phone on me. I can just hit clean everywhere and it, and it goes. Um, I'm sure there's a number of other things you can do with the app. I'll be honest with you. I'm pretty simple. I don't want to try to figure out, you know, all the probably technical things that you do on the app. So I just I always I always just get clean any, any clean everywhere and it goes. Um, I can hit pause on my app and it pauses. I can hit home on the app and it'll go home. Although I will say, Yuffie was better at going home. Sometimes Roomba decides it's not going to go home quite right away. It'll circle around a few times, go here and there, and then maybe eventually go home. Um, but I, I do like the convenience of just having it on my phone because I've always got my phone on me. All right, so we're gonna show you how to empty uh, the Roomba. And that's another thing that we didn't talk about before, but I actually like the way Yuffie emptied a little bit better. Um, I'll show you what I here in a second. So um, here's what I do. I have this kind of trash can kind of button right here. Push it, pop it out, so that's easy enough. 
Um, then let's see, you've got another trash can button here. It opens up. We don't have tons of dirt in here, but you then dump it out. The reason I like the Eufy better is sometimes this doesn't dump out all nice and easy, so I've got to actually pull the, the stuff out. Um, not that big a deal. Uh, we didn't do a big sweeping job beforehand. Normally, um, after it's swept for like an hour or so, it's completely packed in there. Kind of almost makes you wonder how the heck we get so much dirt in a day, but <laughs> hey, it does a good job sweeping. And so a lot of times it's packed in there after, at each day. And so you kind of got to pull it out. Um, the Eufy had kind of a, uh, kind of a top, it just kind of popped open and just easily dumped out. This one, sometimes you got to pull it out. So that's not that big a deal. It's just kind of a little knit. I like the, the way the Eufy is a little bit better. If it was just up to that, that wouldn't be a big deal for me. Um, still the big deal between the two is just the room is louder and the Eufy's less expensive. That's why I prefer the Eufy, but that's another little, little thing. So that's how you empty it. You kind of slide it right back in like that and back ready to go. Wow, thank you for showing us. Appreciate it. You're welcome. <laughs> so Scott, would you recommend Roomba versus Yuffie? Versus Yuffie. Um, you know, it's tough. They're pretty similar. Roomba's more expensive. And the big thing for me is how loud it is. And so I actually like probably Yuffie better. It's a little less expensive. Um, it's not quite as loud. Um, Yuffie did last two and a half years uh, for us. It ended up, it, it did end up breaking. So I can't tell you Roomba, maybe if it lasts five years, I'd feel better about Roomba, but just on how loud it is. Um, the other thing kind of mentioned was like Eufy, we scheduled like either eight or nine o'clock to run every morning. Every Monday morning it runs at eight or nine o'clock. I don't like the idea with Roomba just because it's, it's loud enough where on a Saturday morning at eight o'clock, I don't like the idea of it running on a Saturday morning when maybe the kids or we're still sleeping um, because it's loud enough, uh, we'd hear it. Um, and so I think my personal recommendation would definitely be Eufy slightly over the Roomba just from a cost and a noise perspective. I think the sweeping for both of them is about the same. It's, they're both, they don't both do pretty good. And they're both about the same as far as you need to run them almost every day or every other day. And if you do, it keeps your floors pretty clean. All right. So I guess uh, we're going to keep our Roomba and see how it goes. Maybe in the next uh, five years, we're going to do another review to tell you guys whether we still have Roomba or not, if it lasts that long, all right? But again, we wanted to do this video to kind of just uh, give you guys our honest opinion on the difference between Roomba and Eufy, and uh, to let you guys know what we really think about these uh, two uh, sweepers, and then you can make a decision whether you want to purchase one of these. But what I will tell you that these... I mean, they are lifesavers sometimes because they do really keep the house a little clean, especially with us with, you know, so many kids and we do have a lot of family members that come in too. It really helps kind of keep the house a little tidy. So I would recommend either one you, you want to get, you can get this or the Eufy or whichever one you get. I mean, I'm telling you, it's going to make a difference in your house. So yeah, one thing I would say that's kind of cool is a lot of times you'll, hit go or you know you'll you'll have you a uh, Roomba go and you're cleaning up the kitchen or you're doing something else while it's doing the floor and it's kind of nice that hey it's it's actually cleaning the floor while while you're doing other cleaning in the house that's yeah. kind of cool so thank you again for joining us we want to, again like I said we just wanted to do our this review to give you guys our honest opinion but if you like this video please go ahead and, and uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel um, and if you have any questions, just uh, leave it, you know, leave a comment below and we'll be able to answer your question. Thank you so much again for joining us. We really appreciate you guys. And we'll talk to you guys soon. See you. Bye.